Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Harakakwarash. I would also like to give a double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught me this truth. And I would like to say a sincere Shalom to the hopeful elect that's scattered throughout the four winds of the world and the men that are prophesying and laboring in this truth and in this doctrine to you. I say Shalom. Okay, the title of this lesson is Proud Prophets Ain't Gonna Make It. All right, and this pertains to, you know, Jake's out there that know they're Israel, they, they push Israel, all right? And, but they don't, if they don't got, if they got 90% of the truth, that's not enough. That 10% matters, okay? If they got 95% of the truth, that 5% matters, okay? And I'm talk, I'm specifically speaking of the doctrine, okay? Because there's a lot of Jake's out there that are off on the doctrine. They 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 tell our people to, you know, um, from everything from bearing arms and, 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 you know, having, you know, believing in the sword to um prophecies that that prophecies that really matter that are life and death prophecies like the mark of the beast which is the rfid chip and it's the groups out there that don't preach it all right and it's like man the, the, the mark of the beast being the rfid chip is clear as day all right and a lot of these camps that 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 push that is sin or it's a spiritual mark man maybe the heads but people in their camp can clearly see that it's the mark of the beast and a lot of them are proud they don't want to admit that the apostles and elders okay uh, uh, of, the, of Great Millstone had it right, all right? They, they they have their prophecy correct, all right, with the rest of the prophecies, all right? And, and it, it goes back to pride, all right? You got, hey, in this world, coming into this truth, you got to be humble, all right? You got to realize that, hey, I don't know it all, all right? In the world, I might you in the world, you might have known a lot, but in this truth, you don't know shit, really. When you come into this truth and you humble down, all right? And a lot of Jakes don't want to humble down because they, they, they got a little wisdom. They know they're Israelites. They know a little bit of history, uh, of our people and what we've been through. They know Esau's history and it's, it's great, all right? Because you can bring it out and edify, but at the same time, don't let that wisdom that that, that you attained through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem uh, uh, um make you prideful, all right? Just like the Most High, open your eyes and see it. They can close your eyes that fast and take it away, all right? So let me hop right into the scriptures. Um, first scripture I want to grab is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 3. And uh, verse 17, son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. So if you're a prophet, you're supposed to be giving the people warning, the proper warning, the right warning. Because if you lead the people astray, you're leading them down a, a road of destruction. You're going to be destroyed also. OK. All right. W with with the people you led down there. And, you know, hey, that pride is that 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 pride can overtake you in with the with you know the scriptures say pride puff it up um wisdom puffed up okay don't let that wisdom puff you pu uh, uh uh pump you up to think that you're bigger than the truth that that you don't need to be taught because everyone has to be taught all right you know some things are revealed to a uh, 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 men of higher stature in this truth through the spirit but hey all of us had to be taught all of us had to humble down and realize that we didn't know it all to become a watchman of the lord because if you're if you're a watchman you're supposed to be on your watch all right, but if you if you're if you're partially blinded, all right, if you got one eye open and one eye closed, you can't see everything, and that's a, that's a lot of these prophets have one eye open and one eye closed that can can't clearly see that the mark of the beast is the RFID chip that can't that can't properly break down Romans the thirteenth chapter properly and tell our people, all right, we know we're not supposed to, uh, yes, we're supposed to, uh, we're under Esau's rule right now, but when they tell you to take a, a vaccine or a damn chip, you can say you 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 have the right to say no, you can say no. All right, because you fear your Habashim Yahweh Shai, not this damn devil. All right, that's what it goes all goes back to having faith. All right, and a lot of these, a lot, a lot of these, you know, these, I don't, yeah, false prophets because they're not teaching you the truth. A lot of these false prophets, they don't have that, that they don't have their faith built up. All right, they don't have the integrity to say and the and the, the the meekness and the humbleness to say, you know, you know what, we were wrong on this. You know, I was wrong on this. You know, I went off on this. You know, hey, those guys had it right. All right. And if I, if our apostles and the elders were wrong on something, they, hey, they they'll, they'll tell you. OK, they'll tell us, you know, hey, Salakia, so like we went off on this or whatever it was. OK, but a lot of Jake's out there that that's in this truth. They, they're, they're too prideful. All right. And and, and they're really. And if and if they can't repent, you know, it's all about repentance. All right, you got to repent, you know, take those videos down or, or whatever it was that, that you went off on. All right. But Jake is Jake is Jake is worried about. Uh, 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 views and, and how many followers you got. It ain't about that. It's about it's about pushing this word. It ain't about hey, at the end of the day. It ain't about us because the Most High could raise up anyone to do this truth. All right, if you were chosen and the Most High opened your eyes up to to um to to understand this truth and push this truth, hey, it's great. 
Okay. But these are the, and pride is a stumbling block to a lot of people because you become prideful and the most high may give you, may, 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 um, may, may, um, may, um, give you a doctrine of saying the mark of the beast is the sin or spiritual mark to, to, to make you repent. All right. To make you humble down to, because you know, to let you know that you ain't got it. These are, that's a test. That's that the most high sent to these, these guys that push that, that the mark of the beast is sin. The mark of the beast is a spiritual mark or whatever they say it is. That this is, it's an embargo. It's sleeping with white women. It's a lot of bugged out doctrines out there. Okay. But the mark of the beast is the RFID chip. And if you Jake's out there that you proud ass prophets, all right. And I don't want to, yeah, you can call you men of the Lord, but y'all not, y'all not, y'all not a hundred percent prophets. Y'all 90% prophets. Y'all got 75% prophets. Y'all 90, 90, 95% prophets. Cause you don't push in the whole truth. And a 90, 90, 95%, a 75% is not going to get you into the chariots. It's not going to get you redemption. All right. It's not going to get you saved from the perils that are to come. Okay. This is uh back in the book of Ezekiel chapter um 13 and verse six. Um, they have seen vanity and lying divination, saying, The Lord saith, and the Lord hath not sent them, and they have made others to hope that they would confirm the word. Or right, the Lord didn't send these guys. The Lord didn't the Lord didn't send his men to teach um the mark of the beast is uh, uh mark of the beast is sin, or um uh, uh the mark of the beast is a, a spiritual mark. All right, the Lord sent his prophets to teach the truth, to teach they, this was what's coming. All right. He sent his prophets out to, to warn the people, give them warning that and, and he he uh he told uh, John the Revelator um, what the mark revealed to him what the mark of the beast was. Okay, so it, it's it's clear. All right, it, it's it's it shouldn't be it shouldn't be a mystery. Okay, but hey, a lot of guys out there are proud. They're that at pride, man. You know, and coming to this truth, man, you got to throw all your pride out, man. If you was in in the world, if you was proud, you got to throw away that old man. All right, you, the Lord wants you to humble down, to show meekness. All right, yes, you have to be taught. You have to be under men. Okay, that that's what a lot of people. Hey, a lot of people in the world are, are are you know used to used to leading and um you know telling people what to do and giving orders and stuff. Sometimes you gotta humble down and say, hey, I don't know it all. You know, teach me. Okay, yes, I'm gonna humble down and, and, and learn. All right, I'm gonna show meekness. I'm I'm gonna be lowly. You know, all right. Um, and then your time will come. All right, if you do those things for you do for you to lead for for you to uh you know possibly have a, your own camp. All right. If if it's if that's if the most I you know uh that's in that's in, that's your lot, all right. Um, next scripture I want to grab is um, Book of Jeremiah, fourteen and verse fourteen, and it reads, um, "The Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not, neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you false vision and divination." And a thing of not and a and a deceit of their heart. All right. So a lot of guys is coming from their own heart, what they think. It ain't about what it ain't about what we think or what you know, well I think is this. We gotta hey, you gotta know what it is hundred percent. All right. It ain't no if, ands, or buts, ain't no maybes, ain't no gray areas. You gotta know what it is. And a lot of these guys, they don't know they really don't know what it is. All right. They 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 have like I say, they have some truth, they know some history, but at the end of the day, if you ain't got it, why are you even out there preaching? All right, if you don't got hundred percent truth, why are you out there? All right, because this is life and death. This is a life and death situation playing with people's souls, playing with people's salvation. All right. If you're telling people that it's a spiritual mark. OK, if you're telling people that it's a um, it's a, the mark of the beast is sin. All right. You have to back that up. All right. And those precepts, those weak ass precepts that these guys bring out, they don't even go with. They, it's so easy, simple to break down. So easy, so easy to debunk. It, it, you know, if the Lord is dealing with you, you're going to you're going to look at that. And, and and know these guys is off, all right? Because the Most High is revealing them secrets to his prophets and servants, those deep secrets, all right? He's not, the, 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 the truth is really not revealed to everyone. He's only revealed, going to be revealed to the 144,000 and the one third at the, when, at the end of the day, all right? This is uh, the book of Jeremiah 23 and uh, verse 21. And it reads, I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. All right, so the show the most high is not dealing with these a lot of these guys. All right, on a hundred percent um level. All right, the most high revealed uh, his secrets. You know, some of his secrets to them, some of the some of the secrets. All right, but he's not dealing with them. If you if you if you're if you can't break these things down, if you can't answer every man. All right, uh, you know, you don't need to be out there preaching because, like I said, you're, you're playing with people's salvation. 
All right, this is life and death. All right, and the Lord is not, and the Lord is show, it clearly shows you that the Lord is not dealing with a lot of these camps. Okay, you know, I, they go out there, they push Israel, they got the 12 tribes signed, they, they're able to break things down, but the, the Most High is really only dealing with the elect. All right, and the elect is not going to have no if, ands, or but, if, ands, or buts about what the mark of the beast is. All right, they're going to tell you, you know, and, and it's, man, this is so simple. You know, we have to go over these things about what the mark of the beast is. Okay, what the, uh, and, and a lot of Jake's, can't even tell you what the beast is, okay? They can't even go deep into that, okay? Before you can go out there and, and, and teach, all right, you got to be taught, all right? Let me grab this. Because, um, man, it's, hey, in the time for you, Jake, to repent, you can still repent from that, all right? But you, you you walk with that great pride, all right? And that pride is, man, you know, when you come into, like I say, when you come into this truth, you got to drop all of that shit, all that, all that prideful you know, uh, a spirit you might have had in the world, boasting and bragging. Hey, this truth ain't about this. All right, it ain't about what you got or, or what you had or what you did. All right, you you serving the Lord. All right, this is uh, Second Ezra chapter uh, eight and fifty. It says, um, "Many great miseries shall be done to them in the latter times that dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride." And this is scripture that we usually bring out on Esau, but hey, two thirds of our people have walked with great pride. All right, they're proud. All right. And it same goes with Jake's that know they're Israel. I know they're Israelites. All right. So what? You know that you're Israelite. What are you doing? What have you done for the Lord? Are you out there pu pushing the correct doctrine of the Lord? Are you warning his people? All right. With sincerity. All right. After a uh, filthy lucre, not after a five, you know, uh, uh, doing it because you got a 501 3C and you making money off of it. All right. Those guys are proud. All right. It ain't no hey. Once that money start coming in, these niggas ain't going to walk away from that money. All right, they're not willing to lose their life. They're trying to be having one foot in the world and one foot in the truth. It ain't, ain't going to work. You have to denounce your life, all right, the, the, the things that you love in this life for this truth, for your how about shimmy out shy sake. All right, that's, hey, you know, when I mean, you think about it through the spirit, that's why the Most High is not revealing the secrets 100% uh, to these guys because I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of guys that teach that BS, they 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 they, they, they got, they, 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 they're getting some kind of monetary gain somehow, some way, whether they're selling T-shirts with fringes on them or, or, or they got a 5013 c they got a school or, or whatever it is. They, you know, they that the Most High is not revealing his, his, his the whole truth to them for a reason, okay? Because they, like the scripture said, they walked in great pride. They, a lot of great misery is going to be to them. This is the book of Sirach, Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and um, verse 7. And it says, pride is hateful before the most high in man, and both that doeth one commit iniquity. All right, that's iniquity, sin among, uh, sin upon sin. All right, and we go into Esau with these scriptures, because Esau is prideful. All right, but two-thirds of our people take on that same, um, those same characteristics of Esau, being prideful, like we got something, like we on a level. All right, we ain't shit in this world, all right? You know, we, 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 we at the bottom, okay? But our people are still prideful because they know a little bit about the scriptures. Hey, yes, great. All right, tell your people, but at the same time, be humble about it. All right, be humble that and know that the heavenly Father is the one that gave you the spirit to to uh, to, uh, to prophesy and edify people. All right, people, niggas that think they, oh man, yeah, I figured this out. I broke this down. The Lord is dealing with me. The Lord came to me in a dream and told me what the uh, 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 told me, you know, broke these scriptures down to me. All right, that's how. Hey, it sounds crazy, but that's how prideful Jake is. All right, Jake will flip the whole doctrine around and say the Vatican City is Babylon the Great. All right, it's Israelite groups that have done that. Okay, and, and it clearly shows you that the Most High is not dealing with them. All right, the next scripture I want to get is uh, Proverbs 16 and uh, 18. Pride goes before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. And then, hey, we come into these last days and you're going to see a lot of these Israelite groups that 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 claim to have it right that don't you know claim to got the truth you know they don't call it a name okay they they got off doctrines they're going to start to fall or you're going to see them fall all right and you're going to see esau come after they ass probably first okay they're going to of course we know esau's coming after all hebrew israelites um hebrew israelite camps all right but watch they're going to come after they ass first all right they're going to be made examples of israel all right, like, wait, we told you them guys didn't have, them guys went right. We told you them guys didn't have the truth. All right, verse 19, better is better is it to be humble, to be a humble spirit with the lowly than to divide the spoil with the proud, okay? And, hey, you got to be humble in this. You got to have a humble spirit, right? You got to be lowly, all right? 
um, than to divide the spoil with the proud. And a lot of these guys, they they they're proud, all right. They 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 divide the divide the spoil, all right. They see that money coming in or or whatever they're gaining out of not teaching the doctor the correct doctrine, and and they won't let it go. They won't they won't um. They they won't they won't humble down, okay, at the end of the day. All right, um, let me get this. Uh Proverbs eleven and two. When pride cometh, then cometh shame. But with the lowly is wisdom. All right, the most high is dealing with the lowly, dealing with the meek. All right, that's why he's giving his wisdom to it. But but pride cometh, there cometh shame, and these and eventually these guys are going to be shamed. Whether they be shamed on this side, or they're going to be shamed in the kingdom because they got to come back as a two third. The integrity of the upright shall guide them, but the perverseness of transgressors shall destroy them. All right, and you got to have integrity in this. What's integrity? Let's think of integrity. The quality of being honest and having a strong moral principles, moral uprightness, uh, uprightness. Uh, um, honor, good, upstandingness, honorableness. All right, you got to have some kind of uh, uh, um, you have to have some kind of moral principles, man. Okay, to, to be to, to to stand what you believe in. There's a lot of guys out there in some of these camps, IUIC, um, uh, uh, the GOCC. They teach all kind of crazy doctrines, but some guys in those camps are sincere. Hey, they got to stand up and say, Yo, the name of the Lord is. I believe this is the name of the Lord. Yahweh, when Yahweh shot. All right, I believe that. Um, was a group groups that uh, you know, those groups that out there that teach that Edomites can make that. No, the scripture clearly say that um, only Israel uh, shall be saved. Okay, and this it's it's Israelite camps out there that that um, excuse me, it's it's Jake's it's Israelites in those camps that read the scriptures, but hey, they don't got the integrity to stand up to their leaders and tell them where they're going off. Okay, yes, there's an order to things, but at the same time, you got to go with what the Bible says. The scripture says this, okay, why are we teaching this? You got to question these things because your salvation is on the line at the end of the day, all right? Um, let me grab this, uh, the book of Wisdom of Solomon, chapter uh, 1 and verse 8. It says, therefore he that speaketh uprightness, up, excuse me, therefore he that speaketh unrighteous things can't not be hid, neither shall vengeance when it punish him, when it punished pass by him, all right? So if you're speaking unrighteous things, you're not going to be hid from the Lord. All right. Those unrighteous things, those unrighteous doctrines that you speak are going to be revealed. All right. And when, when, when the time comes. OK. And vengeance ain't going to pass you by either. All right. The, hey, so everything's going to be revealed in the last day. And, it, you know, we're going to see who had the doctor right, the correct doctrine. All right. We, and through the spirit of your how about you, I believe that we have that. All right. And it's nothing to be proud for or boast about. It's just it's just clear. We break everything down. We go into the words. OK, we go into the, the, the depths of the scriptures, the history. We get all the meat off the bone or right, where you can't say, oh, we went off on this or we didn't break down this because hey, everything is on the Internet for us for for a short time. So, hey, at the end of the day, you, you Jake better take heed because they he saw about the close down, shut down this Internet. All right. I got a few more scriptures. And I'm going to um, close out. Uh, this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 57. And uh, verse 15, it says, for the say of the high and like it for thus saith the high and lofty one that inhabiteth eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy places with him also that is of a contrite and humble spirit to retreat, revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. They the spirits of the humble are being revived right now. Okay, not not the proud, now not the proud. Okay, the Most High may revive you a little bit, but He ain't revive you completely if you can't get the hundred percent doctrine. Okay, and, and that's what, the, and it's clearly that shows you the Most High is dealing with a contrite and humble spirit. Let's see, contrite, uh, contrite feeling or expressing remorse. All right, repentance. Okay, yeah, it was said right there, repentant, penitent. All right, regretful. All right, that's what the Lord is dealing with. All right, the ones of the contrite and humble spirit. You have to be humble in this. Okay, you have to say, "Damn, I didn't. Well, I didn't. I didn't have that right." Or, or explain it to me the proper way. Explain it. Break it. Give me the breakdown. Or give me the precepts to, for 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 that. Because I don't got. Because clearly you don't got it. All right. If you don't have it, you don't got it. If you don't have it, you don't have it. Excuse me. All right. Um. Let me see. Uh. Let me get this. Psalms. Um. Twenty-five. 
Psalms 25 and 9. The meek will he guide in judgment and the meek he will teach his ways. All right. The Lord is dealing with the meek. All right. And meek is synonymous with humble. Let's see, Poor, humble, afflicted, meek. All right. That's who the Lord is dealing with. You got to be you got to be humble in this. All right. The Lord is not dealing with no proud niggas that think they know everything. OK, because we don't at the end of the day. Yeah, we know the deep secrets, but man, we don't know shit. All right. We, we, once we got the spirit, of, once we get changed and then we really understand knowledge and we're able to use a, 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 the, the, the full capacity of our brains, then we're gonna then we're gonna say like, damn, look at all this stuff that we didn't know. All right. And we just we just know enough to receive salvation. All right, this is Matthew five and five. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. That's talking about the elect. You gotta hey the elect is gonna be meek. The hundred and forty four thousand are gonna be meek. They're not gonna be proud. They're not gonna be proud and boasted up. You know, they're gonna be humble. They're gonna uh, uh and they're gonna be in order. They're gonna be in line. All right. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 3 and 19 and 19 and 20. Many are in high places of renown, but mysteries are revealed unto the meek. The power of the Lord is great and he is honored and he is honored of the lowly, the lowly and the meek, uh, uh, the humble. They all go hand in hand. Are they all they're all um, uh, 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 synonyms of each other? OK, but he says the mysteries are revealed unto the meek. These deep mysteries. All right. Hey, maybe these guys need to humble down and and and. and, and Turn down their pride, man, so the Lord can reveal that to them. All right, and this guy, man, there's a lot of Israelite camps out there, but only a few teach that the mark of the beast is the RFID chip. All right, and that's the main prophecy. That's why I keep touching on that's the main prophecy because a lot of Jakes, a lot of camps go off on that. All right, and they don't want to admit that hey, Great Millstone had it right. All right, um, let me grab this Proverbs 28 and uh, verse 13. And it reads, he that covereth his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesseth and make and forsake them shall have mercy. All right. That's you just got to admit when you're wrong. OK, you have to admit when you're wrong. He that covereth his sins shall not prosper. by covering your sins is, is not um, is, is not uh, confessing your sins. All right. Not not um, not repenting. OK, let me see. Um, but whoso confesses and forsake them shall have mercy. Well, all right, that's that's basically admitting when you're wrong. You confess like you, you know, hey, Great Millstone had it right, or you even got to say Great Millstone. You just got to say the mark of the beast. Yes, it is the RFID chip. Okay, and hey, the, hey, the Most High, you know, uh, uh, will, will open your yeah, open your eyes to more secrets. All right, and it says and forsake them shall have mercy. All right, and the Lord will have mercy on you when you admit when you're wrong. All right, but when you're proud, hey, the Lord is not dealing with you. Okay, so um, let me see. So, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. That's all I had. But you know, you Jakes out there, man, you, you just gotta repent, man. Just just humble down and 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 you know, pray to the Lord, fast if you got to, that the Lord will open your eyes up to to the to hundred percent truth. Okay, because hey, proud ass prophets ain't gonna make it, and you're not gonna make it at the end of the day because. You're teaching a false doctrine, and people are listening to this, and they feel that it's truth, all right? But at the end of the day, if it's wrong, look at all those souls that you didn't destroy. And you can't, hey, once the internet is shut down, you can't, you know, the social media and all that stuff is shut down. You can't go back and, uh, um, you know, tell those jakes that you went off or, or tell them, you know, what 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 uh, what the right doctrine is because it's too late because all hell is breaking loose, all right? And the Lord is coming to judge, all right? So you're going to have their blood on your, on, on their blood on on your hands, and the Most High is going to judge you for that. All right, so Lord willing, this lesson was edified to the elect, and I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Habakakodash, the honor to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the peace and salutation to the hopeful elect. Shalom.